Hi friends, I'm Jennifer Scott and welcome back to my channel, J. Scott Beauty. All right, let's just say it. This hair is waging an all out war on me and I'm losing. As of right now, I can't picture how bad the thumbnail is gonna be, but I think it's gonna be terrible. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. I am sorry about what you have to look at. And if you're a returning friend, thank you so much. I don't know why you keep coming back, but I am so, so grateful. So I think by now it's pretty obvious that I am here for all things skincare, beauty, beauty adjacent, you name it, I want it. Now I do have a lot of products and it's hard to get through them, but I have been getting through some little by little and I have today for you an empties video. We're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Although I really don't think I have too much ugly because if something is that bad, I usually pass it along and forget about it entirely. Now, as most of you know, I am a huge fan of Naturium, so I do have some empties from that brand. I am also an affiliate, so if you do choose to buy anything through the link below in the description box, I will receive a small commission, but please don't feel like you have to. I just want you to enjoy the products as much as I do. All right, let's get at it. So the first empty I have from Naturium is their BHA liquid. So I have used several BHA liquids. I've actually used probably four or five, I think four from Paula's Choice. And I gotta say, I like those better only because I feel that they are a little more powerful and a little like faster acting. However, I will say if you are just starting out with salicylic acid or you have sensitive skin, this is a great alternative. It worked nicely for me, but I just felt it was slower acting. It was definitely gentle. I never had anything. I didn't feel tingling, burning, stinging. I didn't get dryness. It was just a nice light experience. But because I do use BHAs frequently, um, probably mm, four to seven days a week, depending on the week, um, I am going to stick with my Paula's Choice because I do prefer the potency of that one. But this is still a really great option. Uh, the azelaic acid. I've been a big fan of the combination of azelaic acid and alpha arbutin for a long time. I actually used um, for quite a while um, both of those from The Ordinary. And, you know, it was a fine introduction, but this is a way better formula. It's just a way better experience when using it. Now, I like this a lot. I have replaced it with their latest launch, the emulsion, the azelaic acid emulsion formula. Actually, here. There it is, this here. I have replaced it with this. This is more of a cream, whereas this was a liquid. I had no problems with this. I like this very much, but I am enjoying my time with this right now. So we'll see in the end if I prefer one. Right now, I don't have a preference. And then we come to the Retinol 2.5% Serum. This here, I actually got for free when Naturium first launched, and I, I used it, don't get me wrong, but I didn't enjoy the experience. There were actual kind of little granules in it that I didn't like the feeling of. I've moved on to the retinol cream they have. I like it very much. This one here, I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I'm definitely sticking with the cream version. And then there's this gem. This is the Plant Ceramide Moisture Rich Cream. So as you can tell, like, yeah. I used all of it. I left nothing behind. I like this so much. It's nice and thick and rich, but it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. I mostly used it in the evening, although I would use it in the daytime, you know, for like the end of my routine or right before I did my sunscreen. I never found it heavy. I always felt like it dried down nicely. I will be repurchasing. This is such a great moisturizer. And speaking of moisturizers, I think you heard me talk about this a lot this past winter from pharmacy. This is their Honey Halo. I loved this so much. You know I love the little spatula that is magnetic to the cap. Super genius. I used every little bit that was inside this honeycomb shaped jar. This is such a great experience. You only need a little bit. That's why this little scooper is nice. Plus you're not sticking your fingers in there and you know leaving bacteria behind. I will definitely be repurchasing this. I don't need it for summer though, so it's probably gonna be on my, you know, to purchase in September, but this is so beautiful, so rich, so moisturizing. This is a dream for my skin. And then there's one of my holy grails of all time from Crave, it's their Great Barrier Relief. So this is my second one. I already have a third one. 
you will not find me ever having like a lapse between getting them unless they have some sort of production issues. So once I was probably down to, I don't know, a fifth of it left, I ordered one because I didn't want to have to wait for it. It's so amazing because you can use this day or night. You can use this if your skin is, you know, super dry and damaged, or you can use it just in a light layer just because it's so beautiful. The ingredients in here make for a perfect formula that works amazing with my skin. It has healed my skin when I've damaged it. It has kept my skin soft and glowy when it's already soft and glowy. No matter what, this is so amazing. If you're a Crave fan, I assume you're a Great Barrier fan. If you're not, go get yourself some. Oh my gosh, amazing. And like I mentioned before, from The Ordinary, I had been using their azelaic acid. I had actually found this still in a box in the back of my cupboard, so it hadn't been exposed to light. It had never been opened, so I did use it. I was using it mostly on my decollete, where I have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I don't like this formula for the face because it is thick. It's like a, a thick lotion, but it doesn't smooth very well. It's kind of thick and kind of drags when you put it on your face. So I do use it on my chest. I did use it up because waste not, want not. I won't be repurchasing though because I do like the formula from Naturium better. <laughs> and then there's this here. You're like, what? So this is the 10% AHA body lotion from Paula's Choice. You can't tell by looking because yeah, I cut it off. Here's one of my things. I love this product so much. So like most products in a tube, if you think it's empty, it's not. Take some scissors and open it up. For me, I found that when I do that, I usually have anywhere between seven, 10 more applications, like seven to 10 more applications out of here. That's a lot. That's money wasted if you just throw this out. So that's what I did. I cut it open and every day I would scoop some out and use it. And I was just storing this in a Ziploc bag in my bathroom until I was finished with it. And now it's finally empty and she's going to be recycled. I already have another one on deck, which actually I've been using it pretty quickly because I've been using it a lot. So I'm probably gonna order another one. This stuff is amazing for getting you like your dull, dry winter skin to go away. I don't have like great glowy skin, but using an AHA lotion like this just clears away just all that dullness. I just look so chalky sometimes. And this just clears it away and actually makes my skin look nice. So. This is something I don't want to be without. And then there's this gem from Neogen. It's the Real Ferment Micro Essence. This lasted me, I want to say, probably almost six months. I used this for a long time. Now it is an essence, so it is not a required step in your skincare routine. I actually used it more as a toner. It was the first step after cleansing my skin to just keep my skin hydrated. And that's the thing about this. You won't even know that it's making a difference because you're using all of your other products. I realized when I had stopped using this after like about a week that my skin was starting to get dull and dry. Well, not so much dull, but definitely a little more dry and dehydrated. And it's because I wasn't using this as a first step. This is so nice for just hydrating your skin. And I didn't realize that my skin was staying like hydrated and glowy because of this. Now I have some other toners I'm using right now, which I'm very pleased with, but you can bet I will be getting another one of these. This is a little pricey, but it's so worth it because it is so, I don't know, I just found it to be so nourishing for my skin and it really did, you know, make changes even though I didn't realize it. But it also lasted me like six months because you need not very much at all. I mean, I literally would just do like two little shakes and that was all I needed. So yeah, Neogen. I'm coming back to you. And then we have this. This is something that I use every day. It's empty so you can't tell what it is. Here it is full. These are the Intrinsics Naturally Petite Silken Wipes. This is in the two inch by two inch size. So I use these every day for applying my salicylic acid. I don't like to just put the salicylic acid in my hands and pat it on my face. I do that with all my other products, but for some reason, I just don't want to do it with my BHAs. So I just use this here, little silken wipe. I leave it folded like this, but if you open it up, you can see it is actually, you know, a good size. And because it is so thin, it doesn't soak up a ton of product. If you were using cotton rounds, that soaks up a lot of product and is very wasteful. But I found that this here doesn't soak up a lot and actually helps me get the product everywhere easily. And it's not all over my hands the way I don't want it to be. 
so yeah, I never run out of these. I always make sure to reorder when I'm about halfway through because I don't want to be without these. And I get them on Amazon, so you know, I get them in two days. And then for hair care, we have, of course, my favorite brand. This is from Purology. This is their Strength Cure Blonde Shampoo. Now, if you saw my Sephora video, you saw that I did repurchase this because I don't like to be without this. I only use it once, maybe twice a week, depending, usually just once a week. It's a beautiful purple toning shampoo and conditioner. It's nourishing, hydrating. I love the way it feels in my hair. I love that I only have to use a little bit because these are concentrated formulas. And this is such a great product from an amazing line that I don't picture myself changing it up anytime too soon. And last but not least, this is a giant bummer. So for those of you paying attention to the world of sunscreen, there's been kind of a, I don't know, scandal out there lately because it seems that some of the Korean brands, the labs were actually not telling the truth about the um, SPF that the formulas were and actually the SPF kind of ranged within brands. I mean this could have had an SPF of 30, it could have been up to 50, it just was not solid. The labs were not being truthful. However, it is still a great product. I mean even if it is just a 30 SPF, I still love this so much. However, Leah Yu is going to be reformulating with labs here in the United States so we will be getting some version of this, but who knows what and who knows when. But in the meantime, I loved the Beach Shield so much. And like so many of you, we're going to miss it tremendously. And I hate that this is empty now. I mean, I do have other sunscreens and I will be using them. But when you find something that you just love, that is easy and doesn't bother you. And I felt I was getting some protection. Apparently, maybe I wasn't. I'm just so disappointed that this isn't what we thought it was. Well, that wraps it up. It wasn't a huge empties because I have lots of products. It does take me time to get through them, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope my crazy 80s hair wasn't too distracting. And I will of course have all products linked below in the description box. Short and sweet this time. I think you deserve that. If you enjoyed my video, please consider subscribing and sharing with a friend. It really helps out my channel a lot. I wanna thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you real soon. Mwah!